Denver has a David versus Goliath battle coming on the May ballot. People who are homeless and their supporters versus developers and real estate agents. It's a fight over where and when people can sleep on the streets. Our Steve Steger found David staring down a giant armed with a ton of cash. To understand where the money is coming from in this debate over urban camping, you have to understand the question Denver voters will be asked. The Right to Survive initiative names basic human rights and says we cannot criminalize people for acts of survival in public space. Essentially, this vote could overturn Denver's urban camping ban, which bars people from using artificial shelters in public. Therese Howard is leading the fight. That we have a right to be in those spaces and not be treated as criminals, told to move, told that you are at risk of arrest simply for being and surviving. Our concerns are is how we use public space and what that space will look like under this ordinance. Um, Alvina Vasquez first... works for the group fighting against it. The concern is how long are you allowed to use that space? Are you allowed to be there indefinitely? It's not safe or healthy for anybody. Her group, Together Denver, is pushing against the idea, and they're pushing with a lot of cash. They've already raised three times the amount of the proponents, more than $140,000, almost all of it coming from developers, realtors, and other businesses. They have uh, private space, and they are now trying to overtake public space, and they don't have a right to do that. Still, Howard believes her side has a stronger argument. If money equals votes, then it is definitely an uphill battle, but we don't believe that money equals votes. There's people that are concerned with the homeless community and how do we help them and what's the right way to help them. But I think a lot of people feel like shutting the doors and saying you can sleep outside as long as you want isn't really a solution or an answer. So the biggest thing worrying critics here are unexpected consequences. They worry about potential lawsuits for asking people to move if something like this passes. And they say they'd rather see the ordinance shot down. And then they say they want to have a more robust conversation about solutions for homelessness in Denver. Kyle, we'll have to wait and see if that does happen. Actually happens. So there's going to be some money that supports this, that supports the folks who are homeless and their advocates. Where's that money come from? About $42,000 has been raised by mm -hmm. the proponents so far. A lot of it coming from out of state. Small contributions from people who are going onto the website because they say this is really like the first of its kind in the country getting this on the ballot. So it has a lot of interest. A test case. Interesting. All right. Thank you, Steve. There's a similar right to rest bill in the state legislature. We learned today it's not going anywhere. Same as last year and the year before. Its sponsor pulled it today. They're going to wait and see what happens in Denver.